Melissa. Happy Thursday. Glad you're here today. And isn't this a record? I made it two days in a row. Woo! Um, so fun stuff to tell you today. First of all, I get asked all the time, how do I make those baby stat subway art style th um, things in Silhouette Studio? And uh, the second question that I get asked about them, is there a way to lock down layers? So the answer is yes, you can lock down layers. And two, you don't need to know how to make them necessarily because I got a template for you. Um, and it is really easy to use. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Okay. So this one is part of um, the February bundle that we had on Sofancy. It was hugely popular. It's back today for one day. It's a throwback. We bring it back and it's part of it. So I, but I want to show you how to use it so you can know that if you get, decide to get this, um, uh, you, you can easily put it to good use. And they make awesome, awesome um, gifts. They, you can put it on a shirt. You'll see. All right. Well, let me just flip you around and we'll see. All right. About the tour here. Okay. So February bundle. This is where, um, this is the throwback good just today. I'm going to show you what's in there. It's a 93% savings. Um, there's all these cut files. Woo, it's slow. Website's slow. Lots of you must be on there. Um, anyway, here is all the stuff, if it loads, uh, that is in there. There's a bunch of fonts. Uh, here's one of the templates. This is a birthday. You could also swap out some of the words if you wanted to use it for, you know, back to school or first day of school type thing. Um, and then there's this one down here, which is this baby birth announcement. That's the one we are going to work on. And then you can see there's all this other uh, lots of fun, fun stuff. This one, as I said, it's available today only for uh, $19.99. Okay, so... Regardless, whether you get that or today or you just buy the individual um, template, you can do either way. So this is what it um, comes in looking like, and I want to show you how to um, take advantage of this. So we are going to start in a blank work area, and I have um, my, I downloaded everything, okay? So it's right in my downloads. Now, before I open it up, from my downloads, I want you to take, a, I want you to open up your layers panel. If you're leaving comments, I'm actually not able to look at my um, phone right now with the comments, but I'll go back through them afterwards. Okay, so the layers panel is over here on the right hand side. You do need, I think it's designer edition for this. And when it pops up, this, it it's a little like, okay, what does all this mean? But you'll see what happens when I import um, my, well, I'm going to use the SVG, but you can use any of these if you are not able to bring in SVGs. However, my suggestion is to get Designer Edition at the very minimum. It's worth it. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to bring this in. And did you see that you got an extra layer here? Now, on this layers panel, we can... Um, there's an I, an I is what makes it viewable, okay? And then there's an empty box. A, this box is puts a lock. And what that does is it locks it in place. So I'm not able to select this right now, which when you're building templates like that is great. And you're going to see why in a second. Now you can leave this in here or you can do take one more step, which is what I like to do and bring in a second layer. Okay. And I only do that so that I have a visual of what goes where. Okay. Now what I want to do now is I need to open my text box. However, if I do not add a new layer. I'm not going to be able to edit my text. So, so just do this very simply. Just click the plus sign here. And what that does is it adds another layer. And you can see that this layer does not have a lock. So I'll be able to move them. So now all I have to do, I'm going to let's, let's um, type in here, you know, my daughter's name. I don't know. And you can pick whatever font you want. I actually am using, let's see, what was the one that I was using here? Oh, I was just using times, okay? And now what you can do is stretch it in different directions. You can use whatever font you want, okay? You can make it as big as you want. I'm just copying and pasting, okay? And now I'm going to, you know, here, all right? Put that there. But do you see what's happening is I'm not able to select this bottom layer. So it's not, I'm not constantly, oh shoot, I meant to select the text box and it's, um, I'm just going to put it, well actually let's do um, a longer last name so you can see what happens. Okay, so this one's too long, this doesn't fit in there, so let's move this like that. Okay, I just stretched it back in. Now I need to put in um, her weight. 
Okay, well, she's, let's just say, five pounds, all right? I'm just positioning this all here. I'm just copying and pasting these text boxes and then resizing. And it goes so fast because I have that first layer locked down. And do you see, if you were trying to make this, um, all right, what's today's date? 12, 13, 18, um, again, too big. Okay, so we're just gonna scrunch that. If it's too small, you can then just adjust it this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, hold on a second here. Quit, don't, we don't need private messages right now. Um, okay, and then inches, let's just say she was 21 inches, all right? And then let's say she was born at 7.59. Now, how do I get this twist turned around so it fits here, okay? You just select it and with this green little circle, okay? Put that in there. Okay, now, now what do I do? All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually select all of these red areas and I'm going to change their color, okay? So what you can do is if you don't want, if you want this, what's in Olivia to be gray, you can see that they have made this gray box here so you know what color to make it, okay? So I'm going to click my color up here and then just use the color dropper, all right? That filled in gray even though you can't see it. We're gonna do all of these like that. I'm gonna pick all the gray areas Oops, hold down shift, pick all the gray areas, okay? And then I can fill them all in with that gray. And then where was, uh, so? and then this one is this teal, okay? Whoops. All right, now, now what I'm going to do is go back over here and unlock this layer. And what I can do now is I'm able to select the template itself, although I don't want to move it, but I do want to ungroup it. And then I can just go in and I can delete the color indicators, okay? So see, this one was supposed to be, I don't know why it didn't fill. Okay, this one, I can delete um, that. I can delete this box, this box, this box. I'm having problems with my keyboard, okay and then that one, all right? And now everything is the correct color. I don't like lines. And I have, my, I have created my template. Oops, this one is supposed to be gray. Now, if you don't want them to be this color, you can go in and change them to be whatever color you want. Now, what do you do with this? Well, you can turn on your, go to your send panel, tell it that you want to print it. So just tell it current printer, okay? It's all set up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did we go here? Holy cow. Hold on. My page setup is all wrong. Where are we here? Whew, what is going on here? Okay, we gotta get this fixed. All right, well, I gotta get back to my page setup and fix that, but regardless, We'll just twist turn this around so you guys can see. So that's how you would do it. And you can print it out. You can you could do this in layers on vinyl. You could print this out in layers on heat transfer vinyl. Would look cute on a throw pillow. Could put it on a little onesie. You could print it out, um, you know, on a piece of cardstock and frame it. There's lots of different ways to do that, okay? All right, so that is that. And super easy to use. As I said, it's part of that February bundle that's on Sofancy. I put the link up top. Only available today for um, $19.99. And this little template along with a whole bunch of other stuff, over 105 elements um, are all included. All right, guys. All right, well, hopefully you learned a little something. I know that layering panel can be a little overwhelming, but it's very, very, very useful. So hopefully you got something out of that. All right, guys, see you later.